Good evening and welcome back to Valley News Live at 6. The majority of our region is still seeing plenty of sunshine tonight. Although we do have a few thunder showers up across the north, those did pass through Langdon and Cavalier earlier, now heading in towards Grafton. Maybe hear a few rumbles of thunder here within the next few minutes. And Hallock also reporting a lightning strike, some rumbles of thunder within the last couple of minutes as well. These are fairly light rain showers. I'm not expecting any severe weather at all with these, just a few lingering uh, lightning strikes and rumbles. But the majority of our valley is still seeing mostly clear and sunny and gorgeous conditions and through central North Dakota. We're starting to see a few more cumulus clouds bubble up along with a few pinprick light little sprinkles and showers right now in Fargo. We're looking at our Corwin Auto Sky Cam facing west along I-94. It's looking gorgeous out there still 75 degrees for your Saturday evening. A very light wind out of the west southwest at just three miles per hour. Your sunrise today in Fargo was at 552 AM sunset. 856 in Grand Forks at this hour still at 75 degrees as well. South southeasterly breeze just six miles per hour. Sunrise was 550 sunset after 9 o'clock looking at 901 for your Saturday night. Temperatures across the region are still mostly in the 60s and 70s. The cool spot in Bemidji at 69 degrees where you see that yellow also likely in the upper 60s up towards Pemina County where we're still seeing those rain showers and some rain cooled air, but lots of us still in those low 70s. In your hour by hour forecast for tonight, the showers up across the north will kind of fizzle away. Can't rule out a few lingering sprinkles within some of the cloud cover and the showers that were out west will try to push through and bring us again a very light sprinkle or a quick rain shower, but conditions all night and through the overnight period are looking very mild, remaining in the 50s and 60s. Gorgeous conditions to sit out on the patio, maybe do a little bit of grilling as well. By tomorrow morning, a few passing clouds, very light showers, if any, and the breeze starts to pick up a little bit out of the south and southwest. But look at what it does to our temperatures by midday tomorrow. All of us in the 70s and even a few 80s up across the north where the ground is driest. And again, can't rule out a passing sprinkle, light rain shower, just as we have the last several days. We've been kind of in this very similar trend of passing light rain showers quick rumble of thunder, but then we start to clear things out late Sunday night. Today was the Minnesota fishing opener and hope all of you had luck who did go out fishing and for your day tomorrow out in Detroit Lakes, Ottertail County. Temperatures in those upper 70s near 80 degrees, lots of sunshine and maybe a sprinkle. Don't want to rule it out, but it's not going to impact your overall day. Temperatures by tomorrow afternoon, upper 70s, low 80s across the north with a mix of sun and clouds. And along with the several days of these passing rain showers and thunder showers, so many gorgeous rainbow photos have been sent into us. This one from Otter Tail Lake or Eater Eagle Lake in Otter Tail County. I uploaded several videos to our app and my social media pages of videos of viewer photos from these rainbows. Absolutely gorgeous. And Nishe, we continue the warming trend Monday and Tuesday temperatures in the low 80s for most before some more organized rain showers start to move in Wednesday through Friday, maybe even a couple chances for some thunderstorms as well. Yeah, that was an absolutely beautiful picture. So many of them. Amazing. Yeah. And by the way, keep those temperatures coming. I'll do my best. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Summer.